Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike, my name is Mike, and welcome to another episode of Essential Viewing, which is a series that I do on my channel where I talk about my favourite reality TV shows, scenes, and people. You don't tell me what to do. I do you want to just go home? Yeah. I'm not interested. And you might be wondering, why is he so dressed up? Well, let me ask you a question. If you were going to meet the Queen, would you wear a Stussy short sleeve shirt? No. If I'm going to be talking about royalty, I may as well dress up for it. What's the point of having a suit if you're not going to wear it? Who's the royalty in question? Well, of course, I'm talking about Amy's Baking Company, which is Season 6, Episode 16 of Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Two pieces not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it okay. for them. Meow, meow, meow. She doesn't work here anymore. She's a poisonous little viper. The episode centers around Gordon trying to help Amy and Sammy, who are owners of a restaurant called Amy's Baking Company in Arizona. Chef Ramsay heads to Arizona. If you're not familiar with what Kitchen Nightmares is, as I always say, that's a you problem, not a me problem, and Google is free. Oh my god. As is the case with all the videos in this series, I'm not trying to make fun of Amy and Sammy. I'm trying to discuss the situation, and I wouldn't dress up like this to make fun of someone. Pizza is undercooked. That's not true. I guess the background context that you need to know is that Amy's baking company started getting negative reviews. Approximately two years ago, these reviewers and these bloggers decided to make up lies and say that they ate the food and it was disgusting. And Amy's understanding of the situation was that the reviewers and the bloggers hated her. They were on a campaign to pull her down. They're just f haters. I would like to quickly point out this icon, Katie, she had the tea and she was willing to spill it. There's a lot of things that are wrong with the food that she just doesn't realize. Too garlicky, too buttery, too sweet, not cooked enough, too overdone. So in this situation, Amy is the chef and Sammy owns and runs the restaurant. Even you don't know what is wrong with it. Sammy, I think, is one of the most frightening people I've seen on reality TV. He just conveys an energy that he could kill me with his bare hands or he could hire someone to kill me, which... No, no. If anyone tell me that my wife's food is no good, I just tell them to leave the restaurant. I don't want them and don't come back. Is your first time? Last time. And last time, don't come back, madam. The first time, last time is how I am deciding to deal with hate comments now. If someone comes to my videos and says that this was bad, I'll be like, is this your first time here? Because it's also your last time here. A b -b -b blocked. I am going to really hurt somebody if they send back my cake. The cakes. I don't know. I said bitch where? Chef Ramsay is coming to tell the people how the food is good here. Baby girl, someone has given you false information. Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she had a good, successful, tasty restaurant and she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. You can go, madam. Don't come back, madam. I just love how sure they are that everyone is wrong. That confidence, maybe that's what I need. That's the secret. When Oprah was talking about the secret, that was the secret. I love the way that they deal with the criticism that comes from the people in the restaurant. They say it's not cooked enough. To be. To be. Okay, Amy. What? To be is not cooked enough. Put it again in the, in the, in the oven. Sure, I'll burn it okay, for them. Period. She spilled. She kind of went off there. Julius sees her looking at the Library of Alexandria. Sure, I'll burn it okay, for them. Okay, It's coming now. It's coming now. No. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him. He's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home. I'm sorry, I'm team Amy. Where's my pizza? Miss Thing just burned him like she's gonna burn that pizza. When you go to Amy's Baking Company, you're paying for a show and they're getting the show and they're gonna get that for free. Pay for what? So you know what you're paying for. You're paying for this experience of being yelled at. Sammy doesn't do that for free. You pay. You don't go. You, if you touch a you oh can't from here. Sammy wants all the smoke. If you touch a I really wish I was there. Another reason why I really like Amy is because her burns and her insults are so monetizable. You are a little pansy. Amy, Get out of here. Don't you yeah. ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Exactly. Sit the fuck down. She won't get demonetized for calling someone a little weenie. Ah! This is Miranda. This is Miranda. She's Miranda. going to Hi. serve you. Nice to see you. And this nice is... Nice to meet you. I'm Katie. This goes through the dining room. Okay. The restaurant itself, it's very clean and nice, but it's Amy and Sammy that are the problem. Do not judge a book by its cover. Katie had the tea. And even the way that she's sitting, and you can tell that she's like restrained, she's like... <laughs> if I'm not here working, we're not open. Say that again. That's how I talk about my YouTube channel. If I'm not here, it doesn't run. 
I have issues with customers that are trying to be online bullies and say horrible things. Online bullies. They're online bullies and write things that are not true. I'm fucking going out. I've had enough of playing games. You wrote back to him. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, Why? He, I told him I thought he was a loser. Amy. Amy, 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 Rule number one of responding to hate comments is that you don't. Rule number one of be a boss ass bitch. Never let a clown comment try to play you. If they play you, then rule number two, delete it. <laughs> we have to clown us. Clone us. The first time I heard that, I thought he said, we're two clowns. And I was like, wow, self-aware king. Do you have children? Well, we have three little boys, but they're trapped inside wow. cat bodies. When I rewatched that yesterday, that set off something in my brain that pulled up a memory of when I watched the Cats trailer for the first time. I choose not to relive it. I do not see it. I speak feline. Meow, 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 meow. Oh my God, I love her. Meow, 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 meow. I heard Cats like super musical because she was kind of serving there. Like, did you hear that vocal trill when she said meow? meow, meow. Y'all hear something? Because I hear something. Just imagine an alternate universe where Amy is a main pop girl. She's rivaling the likes of Katie and Gaga. Because this is 2013, it's so when they were popping off. Stay tuned, everybody. After the break, we got that new track by Amy. Meow, meow, meow. Keep it locked in 95.7, the home of music. Meow, meow, meow. The issue is the dough is raw. Dude, I feel it. It's raw. It's doughy. No, 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 no. That is extremely triggering. Just the visual. Oh, my God. The visual of him putting that finger into the pizza. I don't know how it come out today like this, what? but normally they love that pizza. It's really, what? really lovely. Sammy said, Doughy? I don't know her. Who's that? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? So along with the pizza press, <coughs> the next most triggering thing that happens in this scene is when he bites into the burger. No, sir. No mia. I don't trust a thick patty. Oh my god, it smells weird. Sweet, spicy. It has to be one of the most confused ravioli dishes I've ever seen and tasted in my entire life. Oh, she's sweet and she's spicy. Hold on a second. Why am I a confused ravioli dish? I don't think your pizza was undercooked. I checked it when I took it out of the oven just like I do every other pizza. And to me, it was crispy on the bottom. When I cut it, right. it was crunchy. Okay. So to me, it wasn't okay, wrong. Okay, so that's your version because you sure. didn't see it come back. Amy said, my pizza was perfect. The pizza that arrived to you wasn't perfect. What happened between the pizza that I served and the pizza that arrived? Shredding is pizza. You don't know until you see it. Chef Ramsay is standing there riding my ass about white truffle oil and garlic aioli. Oh my God. You know what else I would do? Invade a neighboring country. Oh my God. White truffle oil and garlic aioli. Let me just add that to my list of skills. Sometimes when I look at Gordon Ramsay, I get the visual that he doesn't have any teeth. Like if Gordon Ramsay didn't have teeth, I would believe it. Because like, I don't know how, but he talks like this, but you can't see the teeth. Does Gordon Ramsay have teeth? Conspiracy theory, Gordon Ramsay doesn't have teeth. Are we used to waiting on something? Yeah. yeah. What is it that you're waiting on? Pasta. Yeah. Spicy pasta. So, pasta. Is that Queen Holly from Dance Moms? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to do a CSI zoom and enhance. According to my calculations, it is not Queen Holly. However, I choose to believe that it is. How crazy. Oh my God, crossover. 4B. No, no, 5B. Are you sure? Okay, okay, okay. to question me katie you can go okay. home right now just ignore him i am ignoring everything that's happening me last week when someone tried to get into the elevator with me and didn't press a button and i said do you need to press a button to get up to your floor and he said i'm going to the same floor as you and i visualized everyone on the floor and i thought i'd never seen this man before just ignore him and i left the elevator not getting murdered today sir the tip that you left the young lady server the owner takes the tips that's horrible no 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 no, no. Okay. don't with me yeah i will with you who yeah. the you think you are you're tired of your well then, then answer the my question. The stress that I would feel if Sammy said to me, I'm the gangster, not you. I believe it. 
I believe him when he says he's a gangster. I you want to f with me? I want to f with you. I quit. No, you're not. I quit. She, she is quitting. She has quit. attitude. Katie absolutely ate them up with that performance. I think if I had a Katy Perry stan account, I would repurpose that to a Katie from Amy's Baking Company stan account. She doesn't work here anymore. She's a poisonous little viper. And the username would be at poisonous little viper. What does she know? Who the hell is she? I'm the manager. Who the fuck are you? I just know that Amy loves Maroon 5. That's not a question, that's a statement. It's just facts. No printer. Do you think we're gonna let someone hold a gun to our head and we're gonna give them our ass and let them do anything they want from us? All she asks mm -hmm. is, No, she are did you it with sure? an attitude. I love how those two things are equivalent. If you ask, are you sure, that's the same as holding a gun to someone's head. I met Jessica and Henry this morning and I got told they have to clean cars in the middle of service because the boss wants his car cleaned. Who said that? <coughs> What's the name of that character from Wild Thornberry's, the sister, who was always turning a look? Amy kind of looks like her. Just cool down, Amy. I all we've done, interesting. all that's happened is we have been attacked. Attacked? Attacked! Yeah, I feel very attacked! We're late. I'm I think you're too far gone. Okay, then let's end the show. You think I'm too far gone? There's no hope. Yalla, yalla. It's Christmas, let's go home. I'm gonna officially propose that as my new sign off for a video. It's Christmas, let's go home. Thanks for watching the video. It's Christmas, let's go home. I have the right to do the right thing. And the right thing for me is to get out of here. Gordon said, I gotta go. Now that's because he thinks that they're crazy, but maybe, and consider this, maybe he just doesn't understand. But we understand. Well, it's finally happened. After almost a hundred kitchen nightmares, I've met two owners who I could not help. That does bring me to the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked it, feel free to leave a like. If you've got something to say, leave a comment. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. It's Christmas. Let's go home. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.